Here they come. Minnesota, Karen off stride. The rest are off and trotting. NY Starlet for the lead. Divine Child is there. No Pan, No Gain is now moving out of a crowd. Appeal to Reason moves up toward the rail. No Pan, No Gain leads it by almost a length onto the turn. Appeal to Reason is going to give way in second position. NY Starlet travels a wide third, a length and a half off the lead. Divine Child is racing fourth toward the inside followed by Daffy Yankee, who goes fifth past the quarter-mile mark, and then so gracious, the opening quarter in 28 seconds, Minnesota Karen, the distant trailer. NY Starlet has made the top by a length and a half. No pan, no gain, is second by a length. Appeal to Reason goes third by two. Divine Child is trotting in fourth as they go single file for the move up the back stretch. Daffy Yankee is fifth. So gracious is a close-up sixth, having caught those front five now, but Minnesota Karen is a distant seventh and last. Trotting past the half, they hit that mark in 58 and 1. NY Starlet leads it by a length and a half. No pan, no gain, is second by two. Appeal to Reason is racing in third. Divine Child is fourth at the entry to the far turn. And then Daffy Yankee, so gracious. Minnesota Karen far back. Approaching the three quarter mile mark, they're being led by NY Starlet only by a length. And no pan, no gain is now taking to the outside. Here comes no pan, no gain up alongside of NY Starlet. They are stride for stride off three quarters and 129 and three. No pan, no gain puts ahead in front. NY Starlet fights back toward the inside. Gap of three finds appeal to reason third and then divine child inside of Daffy Yankee. Eighth of a mile to come. No pan, no gain opens up on a three length lead here in the final eighth mile as NY Starlet drops back second, appeal to reason, then Daffy Yankee. At the finish, no pan, no gain, cruising on home from here. No pan, no gain, won it by eight lengths. NY Starlet appeared to hang on for second over a fast closing Daffy Yankee. The time for the mile, 158 and one. Owner Bob Glazier of Peter Pan Stables Incorporated of Pepper Pike, Ohio is on hand today. He has just greeted the winning driver, John Campbell. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the winner of race seven, 158 and one, a new lifetime record for no pen, no gain. John Cisna of the Review Association presenting the caretaker's medallion to Quint Ray. And marketing director, Jim Sproul of Castleton Farm has the Castleton Trophy. The winning two-year-old filly is by Mr. Vic, trained by Ivan Sugg and bred by Ben Air Farm. We'll try to talk to the winning connections in just a moment. Let's drive a word with him real quick. First of all, Mr. Glazier, this filly, no pan, no gain, is a Mr. Vic. I believe that you got her from one of the public auctions last fall. There had to be something you liked about her, and your faith was justified. She's been no worse than second in eight career starts. What was it that originally drew you to this filly? Well, she was a big, good-looking filly, real good-gated, uh, saw her out in the field. Um, Kentuckiana Farms consigned her at the Fasig Tipton sale. Um, and uh, as you say, the results uh, are, are proof right now. Absolutely. Now, looking on down the road from here today, she knocks several seconds off her lifetime best. Have you had a chance to talk with trainer Ivan Sugg about where she's heading to next? Well, uh, Ivan wouldn't know too much about her. This is actually the first start he's had with her. Dan Altmeyer broke her out in uh, uh, Winter Miles down in Florida, has been racing her out of Ladbroke at the Meadows in the Pittsburgh area. We sent her out to Ivan to race in uh, this race here at Springfield. She's going to go to DeCoin next. That sounds great. We'll wish you the best of luck there. Congratulations on the win today. Thank you very much. That is winning owner Bob Glazier of Peter Pan Stables in Ohio, and his filly wins the review. We'll have the rundown next. <laughs> 